We're about halfway through the Muslim holy month of Ramadan and one organization We're about halfway through the Muslim holy month of Ramadan and one organization is trying to make families have enough food for when they break their fast after is trying to make families have enough food for when they break their fast after is trying to make families have enough food for when they break their fast after sundown. Lauren Bale shows us how the group plans to help all members of our community sundown. Lauren Bale shows us how the group plans to help all members of our community sundown. Lauren Bale shows us how the group plans to help all members of our community in need of extra food. I've got it, sister. One box at a time. One, two, three, four, five. These are staple goods, which basically is like cereal, grains, pastas. And one food item at a time. Local mosques are making sure their members won't go hungry when they break their fasting for Ramadan. We don't want any family to, to worry about just the grocery bill breaking that bank. It's all done through a national Muslim organization called ICNA Relief. Volunteers aid in disaster relief, feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, and providing free health clinics to anyone in need. It's our calling to serve humanity, not just to serve other Muslims. Jenny Yanez helped rebuild after Katrina, and now she's focused on building a year-round food pantry in the metro area. It started small with donations of canned goods coming in from families both within and outside of the Muslim community. After dealing with hate and discrimination in the past, Yanez says gestures from non-Muslims mean a lot. Together, you know, collectively, we build something greater than what we had yesterday. Yanez believes it only takes one person or one donation to make a difference. You take care of your family first, and then you know, you take care of your neighbors, then you take care of the community, and that's how society is taken care of. Lauren Bale, Eyewitness News. If you'd like to make a donation, you can head to our website, wwltv.com.